Just one quick video. I know I said I was going to be off earlier. Um, I just want to let you guys know a reminder that Obama is going to Israel in three days. Five days before Passover, just like Jesus did. He went to Jerusalem. Obama's agenda is to try to set up a seven-year peace treaty. If he succeeds, he is the clarification of the Antichrist. The Antichrist is supposed to be successful of creating the seven-year peace treaty between Israel and Palestine. No one else can do it, only the Antichrist. If he is successful, then we will know that he is the Antichrist for sure. If he's not successful, maybe he's not. But what I've been saying, I do believe he will be successful. We might be seeing the start of the seven year peace treaty in three days. Three to five days. Just to let you know, this peace treaty is found in Daniel 9.27 for you unbelievers. I tell you that we are living in the end of days. We are in, we are at the brink of the beast, just like Paul Beckley says. We are at the edge of eternity. Who will you serve? Will you serve yourself, that still leads, that ends up in hell? Will you serve Satan, that leads you to hell? Will you serve every other god but Yahweh and His Son Yeshua, that will lead you to hell? Or will you serve the only one true God, Yahweh, and and His Son Yeshua, through the Holy Spirit? It's up to you. You can take it or you can leave it. It's up to you, you know. You don't have to be saved. That's up to you. But I warn you, you should be saved. You know, you don't have to be saved if you don't want to. I do pray that you would want earnestly want to be saved from the wrath of God. Once you get into the hands of the angry God, oh, but, oh you just wish you were never born. It's worse than being tormented by Satan. It's truly scary being in the angry hands of God. It's unimaginable. I can't even imagine what what an angry God can do. Something you can't even see. He can just destroy you in pits and pizzas. You know, because of your sin. He is the ultimate judge. The ultimate righteous judge. who has mercy right now and grace wanting you to come home to come home giving you time to repent the, the Lord's you know the Lord's not slow to his anger he just wants to give you time to make a decision whether you want to follow him or not if you want to follow him Great, welcome my fa my uh, friends and my fam new family members. If you don't, well, don't say we Christians truly warned you. You know, we truly tried to help you when you were burning. That's all we're trying to do is getting you out of the the thing that you're coming upon yourself. Oh well, I love you all. Jesus will help you if you desire for him to help you. He can help you and he will help you. He understands what you go through. He went through the very same thing you go through now. Lust. He never sinned. Greed. He never sinned. Pride. He never sinned. But he always spoke the truth out of love. And he gave himself as a ransom for your sins. 
so that way you can be saved from the wrath of God. God's wrath is unimaginable. It's up to you if you want to be saved once more. Have a good day.